What's up, guys? It's Ashray from Fun FTC Live. Uh, we are here at the Maryland Tech Invitational with Team 8393 Brainstem. So, how about you guys tell us a lot about? I know you guys have a lot to share. So, why don't you guys tell us a little bit about your robot? Okay, so I'll talk about like our drivetrain and also like the odometry modules, that, uh, odometry modules that we have in the front of our robot. So, our drivetrain we actually utilize a bevel mechanism which is powered by 7 to 1 Versa planetaries and a 2 to 1 bevel gear reduction so that we can, or 8, 9 to 1 bevel, 9 to 1 Versa planetaries and a 2 to 1, so we can drive with an 18 to 1 gear reduction. And this allows us to have a fast and effective drivetrain. We tested many ratios throughout the season. We found that 18 to 1 was optimal, providing like a nice balance between speed and also acceleration. Um, also in the front of a robot, we have these, we, we have two odometry modules. So we actually have a two-wheel odometry system with um, using the IME of a robot so we can determine like the X, Y, and also the heading of a robot and like the absolute position. So in autonomous, we can actually use motion profiling and like the smooth acceleration and deceleration of pads so we can like zoom around the field effectively and pretty, and pretty nicely. Also with our odometry, we have it linearly sprung. So you can actually see that here. We actually have it rubbing on Delrin, Delrin uh, side plates. It's encaged in like a Delrin box. So the nice part is that it works pretty nicely because if we like get lifted for some reason, they still contact the ground. So it's always pretty accurate. Um, Felipe can talk about some of this other stuff. Yeah, another cool part of our robot is the extension system, especially the uh, end caps. But the extension is mainly composed of six layers of SAR2s, which are the half step of the SAR3s that are very common. Um, interestingly, the uh, end caps they are composed of three layers of Delrin. Um, one is two of them are very thick, and one of them are very thin. Housed within those is what, two bearings and a pole that is suspended between those. That acts as our roller through which the string is guided through. And uh, yeah, and then uh, the ne it's, this is all driven by a 7 to 1 motor or a HD hex motor on a 7 to 1 versa planetary gearbox driven by a one and a half inch spool. We wanted to opt we wanted to make the spool as large as possible, obviously, to get as much get uh, the robot to the extension move as fast as possible. All right. So after our robot brings two minerals back in with the collector, it flips the intake up, and we use this funnel and that guides them into our depositor. And we have this lift that can actually bring us to the correct height in under 0.8 seconds. And it also uses a system of three, layer of del three layers of Delrin and the SAR2s because we found that those are extremely compact. And so we tested over eight different iterations of these pulley systems and finally came up with this system which uses um, these rev bearings because they move extremely smooth under a large amount of pressure. Another thing that's interesting is the springs that we use and this helps us tension our string. So even whenever we lift all the way up, you can see that the string here always retains its tension and um, all the string is always at a good tightness. All right. Um, our depositor is one of the most iterated features on our robot. We actually uh, went through 18 different depositors before we came to the one that we have today. Um, the first item here is a uh, blocking, blocking thing, yeah. So whenever the uh, minerals come in, sometimes this flips up so fast that they shoot out the top. So this will actually go down at the start of the, once it's up at the top to uh, keep them inside. Um, it's made out of PET G and 3D printed parts and there's also some Delrin here in the back. Um, inside there are a few 3D printed uh, slants that always direct the balls and the blocks into a specific point at the bottom of the depositor so that we can have more consistent scoring. Um, and then whenever it flips up, we have a uh, redirecting piece of Delrin right here. Uh, and this we used uh, motion studies to determine um, the best shape for it. Uh, and so it ended up being a bit of a um, cubic curve. <laughs> yes. So thank you guys so much for um, being here today. I know that you guys have worked really hard on your robot and throughout the season. And uh, we look forward to seeing you later. Uh, good luck at MTI, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.